November is Remembrance Month. We wear poppies and we think of the fallen from the First World War and the many wars since, and think of all those who serve in Canada's defence. We honour these Canadians on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month each year. And this year is a special year. It marks the 100th anniversary of the poppy. But with the second year of COVID-19 and its related lockdowns, and now with vaccine passports, how will this year's Remembrance commemorations be honoured, if at all? Already we are hearing of Remembrance Day parades being cancelled for the second year in a row, and limitations on crowd sizes at some outdoor memorials. And of course, there is the drama ensuing about raising the Canadian flags back to full mask for Remembrance Day. Recall that the flags on all federal buildings have been lowered since May 30th, following the discovery of hundreds of unmarked graves at the site of the former Kamloops Indian Residential School in British Columbia. Prime Minister Trudeau said that they would not be raised again until, and I quote, we have worked enough with Indigenous communities and leadership to make a clear determination that it was time to raise them again and continue the hard work of reconciliation. But what of Remembrance Day? Will the flag be raised or lowered for the fallen soldiers in time for November 11th? How will we do justice by our veterans and men and women in uniform in the midst of COVID? Remember, thousands upon thousands of Canadians died for our freedom and their sacrifice cannot go unacknowledged. Well, joining me later in the program to share his knowledge on the history of the Great War, Canada's sacrifice and remembrance in general is author, filmmaker and writer John Robson. But joining me now to share how Canadian vets and the public in general will be or ought to be commemorating Remembrance Day is Stephen Clark, National Executive Director of the Royal Canadian Legion. Thank you, Mr. Clark, for joining me today. Oh, thank you very much for having me. It's a pleasure. Oh, it's such an important topic and in such an important time in, in, in our, our calendar year. So please uh, share with us, how will this year's Remembrance commemorations take place? We are hoping for ceremonies to be more reminiscent of what they were like pre-pandemic. Now, as you had mentioned, we still have to observe whatever restrictions or limitations that are in place locally, but we are hoping that it will allow for an expanded ceremony. So, for example, if I can take the national ceremony downtown, uh, the Legion organizes that ceremony, and we had planned for a very restricted ceremony, and in fact, we're encouraging people to watch from home as opposed to being on site. And this is the, the reason, this is the, when you said downtown, I mean downtown Ottawa, or the National Memorial? Absolutely, yes, downtown Ottawa, the National War Memorial. With the recent decision by the Ontario government allowing greater uh, presence by spectators, we can now have crowds closer to what we had normally had in the past, but we still have restrictions we have to observe. We still want people to maintain that physical distancing and we still require people to wear masks. And that is going to be played out all across the country where ceremonies are allowed to be held in person. Okay. So, you know, we talked a little bit about how this year's uh, restrictions might be in place due to COVID. Maybe you can share with uh, Canadians how last year's even, even last year's and this year's events in general have been impacted by the, the COVID restrictions, how the, the commemorations. For example, I mentioned in my opener, you know, parades don't seem to be happening as often. Will there be a parade somewhere in the country? What have you heard? It is unlikely that parades will be happening across the country, unfortunately. Uh, a, a major part of commemorations is uh, the Veterans Parade, and it is so inspiring to see these veterans march by and they receive the, the adulation of the crowds that are there gathered to pay respects to the fallen and to those who uh, had served. We're not able to do that this year. It doesn't mean that Canadians are forgetting that they are not remembering any less. It's just that we don't have that visual presence that we've normally had in the past. It's unfortunate, but it is something that we have to make sure that we observe uh, and we anticipate that in 2022, things will be different. Now, I was so happy to see just a few days ago, I, I went to the local hardware store and I saw two represent representatives of the Legion, of the Canadian Legion, selling poppies. We didn't have this last year. So I was so excited. I ran to my car to get some money and, and I bought a few. Uh, so I was happy to see that. So is it fair to say that a lot of the um, acceptance of donations in lieu of poppies are out and about again this year? 
Absolutely. That is returning this year already. We have over 34,000 physical locations where Canadians can go in across the country and uh, be able to make a donation to receive their poppy. 